Just to give you a quick introduction on myself, I grew up in the Midwest in Chicago, moved to the Carolinas in 95. But when I was in Chicago, I grew up in an entrepreneurial family. We had an electrical contracting practice. And what I found was that the conversations at the kitchen table were different. We talked about business, we talked about growth, um, and it was a great opportunity for me to learn what running a business was all about. Um, I started my own business in 2001, got involved with Action Coach in 2002. Currently, I'm a partner in five business and father of three girls. So if you look at the picture, uh, the girl on the left is Caitlin. She just graduated from college, so she's off the payroll soon. Uh, Alexa is our second daughter. She's a sophomore, goes to Purdue University. Uh, my wife and I, Jen, will be celebrating 25 years of marriage here this July. And in the front there is Peyton. She is a seventh grader and um, the one who keeps us young. And that's me. Uh, fortunate that Action Coach has conferences all over the world. This picture is from Berlin, uh, which was a great city to visit. The first reason to become an action coach is because of demand. If you look at the economic climate that we're in today, um, and we'll see what happens as we come out of this in the next couple of months, what you'll find is that the small business owner has never needed us more. Um, if you look at every marketplace and you look at the businesses with less than 20 employees, it represents anywhere from 86 to 88 percent of the total business population. And this is where we engage. Typically, these business owners are great people who are excellent at what the business delivers, but they're not that great at running the business that delivers it. And so they turn to us because they're open to new ideas and want to make sure that as they build their companies, they're building them on strong fundamentals as opposed to just getting larger because the economy in general is growing. Uh, what we're seeing right now is similar to what we saw in 07 and 08 in that business owners were making money, but they weren't sure why. And the smart ones going forward will put processes in place, will round out their education around entrepreneurship and running a business that they can be sure that regardless of the economic times, their businesses can continue to flourish. So the, the demand from the market is the number one reason to become an action coach. The second reason to become an action coach is change. In this case, we're going to be in the throes of a bit of a recession where there's a chance that 20 to 30 percent of the businesses may not emerge as profitable entities that can move forward. And what that means is the balance is still going to have to get stronger at what they do in order to be an ongoing concern to be that influencer in the marketplace, to be part of the fabric that builds every community. And so when you look at changing economic times, when businesses are doing well, the ones that are smart want to keep figuring out why they're doing well and want to continue in that growth as an entrepreneur. When businesses are not doing well, they look for outside influence so that the business can become what they always hoped it would be when they drew it up on their kitchen table and convinced their spouse, typically, that this was going to be a great idea. So the changing times make us recession proof and an available service to the marketplace for entrepreneurs that are open to changing what they're doing and, of course, willing to do the work to make it happen. Third reason to become an action coach and why now would be a perfect time to do it is our vision. Our vision has stayed the same for 25 years, and that is world abundance through business re-education. But what does that really mean? What that means is that we are going to put our effort into the George Bailey part of the marketplace, the kind of businesses that make every community stronger. They're the ones that coach the soccer teams. They're the ones that are in Rotary. They're the ones that on the weekends are helping to clean up different parts of the area. They're the ones that make the difference. We see a lot of cities that make a big deal about attracting a business that has 50 employees. At Action Coach, we would much rather work with 25 to 30 local entrepreneurs and help them grow their businesses so that they have to hire another two people. So it's our belief that people have overcomplicated business. And by helping them from an education and skill set perspective, we're really able to move towards that abundance mindset where these businesses can continue to be champions of the community. 
The fourth reason to become an action coach is that coaching is not a fad. It has been here forever. It will be here forever. Many of you have had great sport coaches in your youth. Many of you have maybe had executive coaches during your corporate careers. Coaching is here to stay. And so the question then becomes, what is the best and who are the best people to deliver this kind of service to the marketplace? If you like a lot of variety, if you like to work with a lot of different business owners at the same time, if you are an enthusiast of business, and if you constantly learn to better your skills and surround yourself with champions in the industry, then Action Coach could be for you. We see a lot of businesses come and go, and certainly coaching is not gonna be one of them. We have been here for 25 years. We plan on being here for another 125 years. The fifth reason to be an Action Coach is that it's virtual. You know, it's been interesting in the last uh, couple of months, the rate at which virtual business has been adopted, I believe has been accelerated by five to 10 years. And I'll be honest, you know, I'm 50 years old. I was not a big fan of Zoom. I was not a big fan of Skype, uh, unless you were trying to call somebody overseas. Uh, but what I am finding is that out of requirement, out of necessity, I have become very comfortable in the virtual environment. And what we find is that the cost of having brick and mortar, uh, the investment that has to be made in these fixed costs can really hamper the ability for a business to be profitable. And so as an action coach, you can do all of your coaching virtual. In fact, we've rolled out a coaching portal that makes that process even easier. And so when you think about the right business for you, having one that has low fixed costs and can be done in a virtual environment makes it very efficient and very profitable. The sixth reason to be an action coach is the support that we provide for the coaches in the marketplace. And this support comes in a variety of ways. In some cases, it's going to be uh, working with your peers from your training class. In other cases, it's gonna be working with uh, people that were your trainers when you were out at our 10 day action academy. In some cases, it's gonna be fellow coaches here in the Carolinas, where whether they're in North or South, whether they're on the east side of the state or west side of the state, we have daily support calls to make sure that the team can move forward and get great results with clients. Perhaps it's going to be working with me. You know, I'll be around um, every week. We do daily huddles. We do Monday calls. You and I will have one-on-one -on -one time, certainly during the first three to six months, to make sure the habits are in place for you to be successful long-term. And then the last group would be coaches outside of your immediate area. You know, one of the interesting things when I came to Action Coach, um, I was coming out of the furniture industry, which was in sharp decline, and people were concerned about their jobs, so their willingness to help each other wasn't very high. When I came to Action Coach, I found just the opposite. I have t spoke with, spoken with coaches all over the world about working with clients, about best practice, about how to take their learnings and apply them here to the Carolina marketplace. So if what you're looking for is an opportunity to have your own business, and as they always say in franchising, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself, think of the kind of support that you'll need to be successful as you come out of the gates with your new business. Seventh reason to become an action coach is that you have an ability to build an asset. We have a firm model which is very similar to other kinds of franchises where you would own your own territory. And by owning that territory, you can build as many coaches as you like, if you choose to. And you will also have a saleable asset that will beyond or be beyond just the one time revenue or one and a half times revenue, which is common in a service industry. As a firm owner, you will have a heavy presence in the marketplace and that business will be saleable as an ongoing concern. So you'll be able to build something you may wanna bring the family into, you may wanna sell it to the team, but ultimately you can either sell it in the marketplace or retire from the leadership position and have a ongoing stream of revenue coming towards you for as long as you'd like. The 
The eighth reason to become an action coach is to be your own boss. Now, this is the danger Will Robinson moment of the presentation. I've got to warn you that once you've gone out on your own, it is going to be very, very difficult to ever work for somebody else again. Uh, we are coming up on our, let's see, it'll be almost 20 years of me having my own business, and it would be absolutely impossible for me to work for somebody else. Um, as your own boss, you get both sides. You get the returns on your efforts. You get the benefit of controlling your schedule, of building a business that can work without you. Um, you get the benefit of lots of tax opportunities that are out there. You can control your own time, control your own destiny, invest your time doing what you want and doing it with people that you respect. So owning your own boss, and I am totally biased on this topic, is one of the greatest things you can do to secure your legacy long term. Now, on the flip side to that, when it doesn't go as you hoped, that's also because you didn't do it. At least, though, that underlying value is you. So if you are willing to take the chance, if you have the courage and the support of your family, if you've done a good job of setting aside funding or can get funding uh, to take on your own business, what a great opportunity that is. And it is a ton of fun when you're running your own gig. And the ninth reason to become an action coach and why now is a great time to do it is that if you're going to go into the coaching industry, you may as well go with the player that's been here the longest. You may as well go with the organization that is the largest. You may as well pick the organization that is the only one that has a guarantee for clients. You may as well go with an organization that has the best earnings claim in their disclosure document. You may as well go with the organization whose leader is well uh, is world known from a presentation, publishing, and small business leadership perspective. You may as well go with the organization that has the highest concentration of coaches um, in the Carolinas relative to any other business that's out there. And you may as well go with the organization that because they've always been in front, will continue to stay in front because that's just the way we like to do things. We want to be the leader of the pack. We want to have people join us that are also leaders of the pack. So if you're going to go in the coaching profession and you want to make it more than a hobby, you want to make it a business that will fund your family, that will fund uh, philanthropic things that you want to do, that will put you in a position to have multiple businesses over time should you choose, then Action Coach is the right choice. So if this sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, about not only having your own business, but having one in the professional service arena and work with small to medium-sized business owners, and I should have shared that with you earlier, uh, for us in the Carolinas, our typical clients have revenues between 250000 and about $3 million. They typically have been in business for more than three years. They typically have between four and eight people on the team. And most importantly, they are typically open to new ideas. If a business owner is open to new ideas, then we have something for them. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's group coaching, we have a variety of services that we bring to the marketplace. If a business owner is not open to new ideas, we have nothing for them. So when I think about the market, in between North and South Carolina, there are roughly half a million businesses that have revenues under 20 million. Most of those have revenues under 5 million. And what separates someone who's a good candidate for us relative to someone who is not a good candidate, the single biggest thing is they're being open to new ideas. So if this sounds like something that would be a good fit for you and you'd love to have your own business, then I'd love to consider you the conversation. So you can reach me at stevebrock at actioncoach.com or give me a buzz at 336-288-8858 and I'd love to schedule some time together. I hope this finds your family well. I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to talking with you soon.